Welcome everyone um, to the Descent to Land Report. I am Natalie, aka Fractilians, and I'm going to be your reporter for today. First brain! Woohoo! I'm so glad you got your wearables. I just saw your message. Yeah, I hope to make more, and I'll definitely be giving you some more as well. Today we have another cool POAP for, t for you. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I am Fractilians, and I, if you're looking to learn more about the communities, creators, and builders in Decentraland and other metaverses, then you're in the right place. I'm super passionate about the metaverse, creativity, and the tools that are available for all the creators building the open metaverse. I also love NFTs, wearables, quests, and all that good stuff. So thank you for joining me. Today is... Oh, thank you, First Braid. <laughs> you're my only fan. <laughs> you rock. So let's head on in into um, Decentraland. So here I am. Um, so for today's show, I'm over in, let me uh, paste the URL in case you're around. You can head over to Here is where I am right now at Decentraland headquarters. Just trying out some my my one of one that I got from being a DCL reporter all these long weeks. So today's report, I'm gonna go over. Um, I'm gonna show our POAP for the day. I'm gonna head over to expand to share the meta moment of the week. Then today I have a recording that I did earlier today because I've been having so many kind of lag issues. I kind of wanted to make it better experience for you guys. So I have a cool little recording that I'm going to show. I'm going to talk about linked wearables, interoperability, crypto avatars, on-chain, on-chain, and DAO, and um, the linked wearable registry. So to start, let's um, show off the POAP of the day, which is usually, I will give this out at the end of the video that I'm going to show. And here is the pull up of the day and um, I'm going to put the link, a form link that you guys fill out and the word of the day will be on chain chain. So I'll, st I'll say it again later too and um, I'll write it in the description for you first brain as well just to make sure you get it right. So yeah let's first head over to um, let me get my little layer open real quick. We're going to head over to expand real quick. Let me open it up. I thought I had all my screens ready. <laughs> and of course I always miss one. Let me um... Let me screen share real quick. Add... Expand is right here. There we go. Cool. Let me uh, put it in the proper place. There we go. Turn some... Oh, don't turn myself off. <laughs> Let me turn... Uh, there we go. Cool. So, um, yeah, this is Expand, and this is where all of us reporters come each week and share about a moment in the metaverse that we it was a little bit of a highlight. So this week's highlight was the fun meta key party that happened this past weekend and um, Stony Eye was there and it was also like a little competition um, for some of the meta crew part of meta key. And here is my meta moment. I'm going to put it up here. Oops. I always forget that on here you can't just drag. That's one feature. That would be awesome if they did. Here, I'm going to add my little meta moment. Do, do, do. Let me find it. And there it is. Cool. So I have to remember to add. Oh, my video's gone. There you go. There. <laughs> Sorry about that. Here, I'm going to copy and paste my little. This was getting down with. Stony Eye and the Meta Key headquarters in Decentraland. So I guess for here you can't really link to them, but I'm gonna still put it like that. It was my meta moment. 
so it was a great party so I'm gonna post that for today so if you guys don't know expand here let me share the link for you guys head on over there and if you want to support all of us reporters consider subscribing and it helps support the team and they're really cool let me see here it is there you go so there is my meta moment and you can actually scroll through all of this and check out all of everybody's meta moment here's another meta moment by Kevin on Earth it was really cool Fabino's meta moment was the collect online which I talked about last week and here is um, that's really cool I love that emote that he has another really cool meta moment competes the Pepe oh, oh, quest I need to go do that, that one it sounds like a fun one anyhow it's fun on here you can check out what other reporters have been up to and yeah can and I have subscribed to the channel and support all the other reporters, which is really cool. Okay, let's go back and let me get the video all queued up for you guys. Let me hide that. And let me hide this one. And here is my video for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy. And again, I just recorded it ahead of time, so it would be a more pleasant experience. Because if I did this live, as you know, my show is known as... Murphy's Law or Lag Land because Decentraland lately has been having some issues, but yeah, enjoy. Let me hit play. And hopefully the audio is working well for you guys, but and let me turn my audio down so you won't hear my annoying voice right now. <laughs> you can hear it in the video. <laughs> okay, there you go. I'm gonna So I'm going to test this out. So today I wanted to talk a little bit about linked wearables and I did this pre-recorded because I've been having so many issues with lag. So um, yeah, I think probably from Kevin on Earth you guys have heard that linked, some linked wearables have been passed and if you click up here and you go in your backpack, you can uh, actually search the linked wearables and I have crypto avatar wearables. Got a bunch from Mega Cube event, and um, I also had some from before the Mega Cube event. So um, I'm going to, and actually most of those are on my other wallet, so they won't show up here. But I do have one here. So if you want to see if, um, especially if you did Mega Cube, you probably got one of those cool wearables, linked wearables. So if you click on here and you scroll down. You can see, woohoo, Crypto Avatar Collection. Let's click on that. And there I am. Let's check it out. It's so cool. Let's see if it's gonna load or <laughs> crash. Don't crash to center land. So, yep, there I am in my linked wearable. It's pretty awesome. So I have a bunch more too. Um, I still have a bunch from the Mega Cube event. Let me see if it'll show up on here. I'm gonna go to the Mega Cube IO. See if it actually loads up on here. Oh, it does. Let's connect. Sign in real quick. Let me move this down so you guys can see it a little bit better. And you can check out all the other ones that eventually I think I have to still transfer out of here. Um, a lot of this stuff, I think it's taken a little bit. Let's see, you can actually view it on OpenSea. These are all I have one, two, three, four, five, six, six other um, crypto avatars. Uh, user collection. Let's see. Let me see. Claim completed. It supposedly, let's view on OpenSea to see which one this is. Oh, that is the one that it has already. Oh, sent to wallet. Let's see if the, oh, it's sent. So now I have another one. Maybe not. Try again. <laughs> Oh, it's been kind of... That's why most of my stuff is still on here. Let 
Let me see if it's going to let me do what I want to do. I just want to show you guys a couple of the other wearables. If not, we'll just check out the... Um, let's check out the other ones that I got. So this other one, and if you... There was a little video that they did um, talking about it. And I think it's on here. Yeah, here. You guys can see it right here. So, yep. So as you saw, I have um, a bunch of other ones. Let's see which other one I got. I think I have the first two I've shown. That's another one. I think I got a couple girl ones as well. Some of them I just won, and other ones I bought with with sand dust. There's my girl. And let's see what my last one is. Ooh, that one's really cool too. So all of these, when I'm able to actually um, send send to wallet, let's try one last time. Oh, try again. I don't think it likes those transactions, so oh, it's living safely here anyway. But um, yeah, let's check out something real quick. This is the crypto avatar page. The old one is where. Let's see. Oh, it's under construction. It's saying. It's just at the old one. I think in the old one it'll showcase some of the ones I had from before, which I guess are not part of the user collection, but you can also still use for like VTubing and download the VRM file. But since the show is about interoperability. Let's see. Might be taking a little bit too long. I'll just let that be for now. So another thing I wanted to talk about, um, which I've been playing with here all morning, is this cool proposal that's happening now. And um, if you guys haven't heard of on-chain, on-chain drop that recently happened, it's really cool. Here, you can check it out real quick. You, um, I bought about, I think I have three of them that I got a little while ago. And the cool thing is, so here is, I'm gonna go to my profile. You can check out the three ones I have. The cool thing is when you, you go onto it, you can download the box file. So here is this, and if you scroll down, it says press, press S to save box file. So that's what I'll do. And, um, Choose application and box edit. Oh, it's not wanting to open it, but this is a different one. <laughs> and let me show you guys. Here, I'm gonna stop this for a second and then I'm gonna see if hopefully this is recording. Hold on a second. So the recording was working. Okay, so I'm gonna just continue on here. So this is um, where their project. Um, was created for here. These are the three ones that I've found, bought. So if you scroll down here, um, if you scroll, click on the one you've purchased, the cool thing is, um, let's read a little bit about this first. On Chain On Chain by Rizzle, Sebi, and Miguel. Correct? <laughs> I'm probably saying it wrong, but so, um, here it says, in the spirit of pushing forward the narrative of Web3 interoperability and importance of on-chain NFTs, we have created on-chain chain. This on-chain chain is a whimsical high-end piece of metaverse fashion that exemplifies the owner's understanding of the importance of fundamental constructs. A wide variety of chains, totems, and accessories designed by Miguel result in a unique, prominent, wearable chains. On-chain on-chain are also standalone pieces of art that also provide the collector with the ability to wear it across multiple NFTs and platforms. The ability to wear the same on-chain everywhere allows the user to be recognizable even while changing avatars across the metaverse. Currently, non-chain on-chain is supported by several prominent projects and platforms with the intention of continued expansion. So, 
This is one that I minted. I didn't know which one I was minting. I was there for the original mint. I got three. And here I'm going to actually just save this voxel file. So all I have to hit is S. And then here is where you choose the application. And I downloaded a Vox Edit. Um, I was trying to do magical voxels, but it was having issues. So if you click open, you can see here is my file. And I still don't really know how to use Vox Edit yet, but I am going to dive into it. But I just thought it was really cool that from here, I'm sure I can export it and bring it to Blender. And um, the cool thing that I wanted to talk about, this is one of the cool functionalities that you can download this. and I can use this file for across whatever I want, really. So if I want to maybe create something and bring it into CryptoVoxels, all that kind of fun stuff, I can. Here is the file. But I wanted to talk about their current proposal. So let's go back to here. And here is, uh, um, so they just posted this May 29th yesterday. So they're asking for the community, which is all of you guys, to come and support what they're doing. So just like the crypto avatars, they're trying to add the on-chain on-chain to the linked wearables registry, which I think is super cool. And um, yeah, and here you can see if you come on here, all those links I was actually showing you guys already, you can, this is the art block links. Um, and where are we? Here we go. Um, if you want to check out the entire collection and um, Right now, the prices is pretty amazing. I would, I'm probably gonna pick up a couple more. They're just cool, and I like to support. Um, Rizzle, if you guys don't know, has been it's just does so much for the community. Also, the whip meetups and crypto boxes are amazing. So it's just, I, and it's also this project's um, parts here. Let me see if it's. Uh, let's go to the website. You guys can read a little bit more about it. Oh, look at this. That's cool. I didn't know that. So I can get it. Could just change it to a free CryptoVoxels version. That's really cool. I need to look into that afterwards. Um, here it shows you. I think where's their site? I think. Anyway, let's go back real quick. <laughs> Sorry, I got distracted. So here's our on-chain, all their info. If you want to collect some, you can go on their OpenSea collection, check out all their um, ones currently on the secondary market. There's a lot of cool ones in here. Ooh, that heart. I can't look at this, or I'll get more. <laughs> okay. So um, yeah, here is their current proposal that they have, and um, it pretty much says what we read already in the other part. Items to be uploaded, there's 2,000 total. And um, so why they want to do this is uh, they built it to the intention of becoming fully on-chain interoperable, worn across many virtual worlds. Currently, the owners of the chains are using them in various capacities across several different projects. Platform so there's a very large demand for the wearables to be compatible into Centraland. So any help would be appreciated for myself and the community. And I think it's a great project. And I just thought if you got I've already voted yes, as you can see on here. My voting power is not super high, but I thought I could do my do my part and um, hopefully have you guys head on here. I will um, copy this link and put it in the chat so you guys can head over here and vote and support it or not support it but hopefully you will support it because I think it's great and even if you don't have a uh, on chain on chain it's still cool to support the linked wearables movement that's happening here in Decentraland it's just fun and I can't wait to add it as a, some bling on there so yeah, so if you don't, if you, let's go back to Rizzle. If you guys have never checked out the Whip Meetup, it's super fun. It's once a week. It happens in Crypto Voxels, which is, I've covered before here on the channel. I love talking about, you know, usually cover Motiverse, Crypto Voxels. I need to head over to the Sandbox too at some point. <laughs> but I think the way, to, 
to move forward, especially in the open metaverse, is all these amazing metaverses to support each other and um, make it even better, especially so we can bring all these cool wearables and things that we purchase to different metaverses. So this is the beginning here with the linked um, wearable registry. So head over here, let's see, discuss in forum, see what people are saying. Oh, not much has been said. To give it a heart. Vote on this proposal. Use proposal and snapshot. So this was just four days ago. It's only been up not very long, but um, open call for delegates is a whole nother thing. Oh, this is delegates for voting power. I might, I probably should do that because my voting power right now is pretty low. It would be cool to be able to vote on proposals since I'm on here a lot and love to see and support the community and especially things that I think will do positive, which I think this is definitely one of the things that if I had more voting power, I'd go, yes, pass it through. But <laughs> that's just my perspective. Um, let's see if there's anything else I wanted to cover on here. Yeah, let me uh, go back uh, to... Here we go. Hold on, let me close this up. I don't know why it expanded it so big. It would viewed it perfectly fine earlier. So this is Vox Edit. This is the, I believe the beta version for Mac finally came out. I think last time I looked on Sandbox, they didn't have it, but now it's free to download. And here is my, I'm gonna watch some videos now and get to know this software. I have played with Magical Voxel, but I don't want to ruin my beautiful here creation here. I'll probably download some more and play around with that. Maybe after I play around, I'll make another part of this video. But um, yeah, let's go back over here. Here's back to art blocks. Hello. So, been playing a little more. <laughs> This is just really cool to see. I should try opening up some of the other ones. Let me see if I'm able to open up a different one. So you know, guys know I like to showcase a lot of things, different tools that we can use to build Decentraland. And again, this is for the on-chain on-chain. You can download the box model, the one they're hoping to get um, passed for the linked wearable registry. Let me see if I can open up a different one that I downloaded. Um, Actually, let me uh, go back to, um, there we go, I'm going to go back over here real quick and see if I can go back to, where are you, here it is, okay, I want to go download some of my other ones and see how they look in here as well, so this is one of my other ones. And if I hit S, it should download, I hope. Oh. I think I did it. Let me check on my downloads. Let me open this up. Oh, yes it is. Okay. I found it. I'm just going to drag it over to my desktop and see if I can open it back up. See if I can open it successfully in box edit. this up. I'm not gonna save that. I'm gonna see if I can open it from here. Ooh, it's opening it. Okay, let's see what happens. Modeler, import box. Let's go back to my desktop. this one. Yay, it worked! Here is my other one. So cool. I 
I love cool utility like this. <laughs> so this is, um, I guess it would be worn like that, or yeah, like that. <laughs> yeah, that would go around your neck right there. So you can, I could, I guess I could play around here and change things up if I wanted to. Ah, where'd it go? There we go. Blowing up my cool new jewelry piece. Ooh, look, I can change the color. Not that I'd want to ruin the beautiful work that was already been done, but I could add some cool stuff. Right now, I can make him yellow. <laughs> It's just cool. I always love to see how people, other people build things. Let's try my last one. Okay, let me, uh, let's go back to my file. There's one last one. See how that baby looks. And this is my last guy. 707. He's a little bit of a smoker. Let's see if I can download that one. Looks like it did. And I open it up real quick. There it is. I think now it will be able to simply let me uh let me just close this up and try opening up my last one. Is that a 707? Yeah, 707. That's what I want to try. Looks like it's working again. It's so nice when things work. Especially when I'm doing a show. <laughs> so those of you guys who are just joining me, I am here in Vox Edit, and I am showcasing um, the on-chain, on-chain wearables that they currently want to do. They currently have a proposal up. Here. Let me uh, open this up. They currently have... Um, here you go. This isn't the one I wanted. There we go. They currently have this proposal up in the Decentraland um, to hopefully get this passed. So head on over here and support Rizzle to hopefully have this on-chain on-chain as a linked registry. So let's go back into Box Edit real quick and see if I can open up that my last on chain on chain. Go into Modeler, you can see my last imports. Import the last one. Go to Desktop, I need to name them something. 707 is the last one I have. Let's see if it'll open. And there we go. Here's my little. Smoker dude. Never been much of a smoker myself. Never actually smoked a cigarette. <laughs> Having been growing up in partially Venezuela, that's pretty much a, a feat. I just always thought it was, it was gross. Cigarettes. So, this is my last one that I have. Let's see. That's just really cool. So, within here, I can export this. That's what I wanted to do. Okay, I wanted to show you guys one last step. Let's, um, actually I want to open up a different one. Let me close this guy. I still don't really know what I'm doing in there, so that's why I'm like <laughs> getting out of it. And I probably shouldn't get out of it. Uh, where are you? Oh. Probably shouldn't be showcasing software. I I am just learning. Okay, here it is. Let's open up. I liked, I think it was 707. There we go. It's loading back up. Modeler. I want to bring uh, this guy. I want this guy to be the one I experiment with. I'm going to see if I can bring this guy into Blender. I'm going to export an OBJ. Save it here. I'm going to also export GLTF, save it there, and I'm going to keep this baby here and I'm going to open up um, 
Blender. So let's uh, see if this shows Blender right away. Choo -choo -choo. There it goes. It's showing Blender now. Let me turn uh, turn this off for a second. And I'm going to try to import now those files just to see how they look. Because once again, to Blender, the real fun happens. Okay, let's import um, GLTF. Go to my desktop. Mm, where are you? There it is. Um, doesn't see any of them. You know what happened? I think I saved it. I don't think I saved this where I wanted to. Let's go file, export, GLTF. Oh yeah, look, it saved it not where I wanted to. Let's, let's save it here. Sorry, I just switched over to... Forgot to switch the screen. Let's see if it now recognizes. There it is. Okay. Yay, look. Let's see if it imports. Ooh, there it goes. Look at that, guys. Let's go right here. Woohoo! A little interoperability for you guys. So here is my file beautiful file. It seems like it's like bogging down a little maybe because I have too many things open and I bet you everything's gonna crash here shortly. But that's super cool. Look at that. We So we've gone from ARP blocks, download, brought it into box edit, exported as a GLTF, and now we're here in Blender. And the cool thing is all, all the Let's see all the materials and things. Let's go into UV Edit and see what they have. Here we go, there's the little texture for it. Pretty cool. I'm gonna have to dive into this a little bit more. But here is one. Let's move this guy over. Oh, oh, it's just a square. I don't need the square. Let me go back to Vox Edit. Here I am. Whoops. Here in Vox Edit. Let's open. Let's go back to home. Uh, no changes. Oh, cool. If I go back to home, I'm able to do it. So let's go in here. Let's export this puppy too. And bring that guy in. So, wait. I'm gonna cancel. Let's go back to home. Um. I guess I should try to know the names of it. I'm gonna call this guy Pink. <laughs> let's just go Pink. No, I don't want to add to it. So I'm gonna export. GLTF. Call this guy pink. Save. Let's go back into Blender. Oh wait, actually, let's just stay here real quick. And do the same thing for this guy. So call that guy Smoker. I know they have much better names. <laughs> but for now, they do have a name listed on the thing. I just... I just think it's so cool to see how little box art is created. I'm definitely going to have to come back in here and play in here and play with some stuff, design some stuff in Voxel and bring that into Decentraland. It would be really cool. Oh good, I'm still recording. <laughs> so now let's import these guys. Let's uh... Join areas, bring this over here. I don't know why I did that. Let's import our two other friends, so my one on-chain on-chain isn't so sad and lonely. Okay. Let's import Pinky. 
And let's import smoker. There you go. So let's flip these guys around so they're all facing the same way and they can all hang out. So these are the guys I'm hoping if that linked wearables registry happens, I can bring these guys in and have some new cool link to wear into Centraland. And also for any future projects, I just think it'd be really cool. I think this process is probably going to be a lot easier in the future. Just really cool. That was really one of the, uh, uh, again, um, if you guys haven't been to the WIP meetup, I really have been going when I can up and on for, for a while. I've gone to like five or six of them. I would like to go to more, but usually I am working during that time or doing something. <laughs> but yeah, so these are my little wearables that if that linked registry happens, I can swap these out and wear these on my avatar and essentially and I haven't had it would be cool to have a link registry accessory because the rest are just like the full avatars but this would think would be one of the first cool um oh no this whole time I wasn't even showing you guys this sorry about that <laughs> I was trying to showcase this so I've been importing these and showing and not you not showcasing what I wanted to show so these are the three linked wearables that I would really like to be able to import. These are gigantic right now. This would be cool. This could be like if they buy land in Decentraland, each one of these could just be a, a build. Look at that. I could have my whole... One day I'll own a piece of land and just swap it out with fun like, stuff like this. So this could be my my just full build. So you could just run around this. I could jump all around here great cool parkour with my wearables but yeah that was pretty easy I'd never done that I always wondered how to like download it I didn't realize it was as easy as um here let's go back into uh here I'll keep blender on until for some reason my file got closed But, um, yeah, so, hope this has been entertaining for you guys. It's been super entertaining for me. <laughs> it's always fun to see what new tools I've never played with, and it was like the, it was like the perfect excuse for me to, like, finally get into Vox Edit, which I guess I, I've seen this, like, a while back, but it was before, um, it was available for for Mac, and here I'm gonna open up one thing just to see if it will. Oh, this is a cool. Actually, that's not the one. I'm trying to find Hold on. this one thing for you guys. Let's take a second. It was just a cool video that I found, but. Um, Me uh, open up the. Uh, sometimes it's hard to see what OBS is actually showing. <laughs> I'm still getting used to it. I'm not streaming from there, but I am recording from there these videos, so then there'll be a lot less lag for you guys. It's like my lag workaround. Um, So I'm going to go, let's go back into the open sea. Let me see if this will link to it now. There we go. Cool. So I just wanted to, ooh, look at this guy. This guy looks like, let me see. It's actually taking a while to load up on here for you guys. I'm not sure why. There we go. That was weird. Oh, I think I have another window of it open. I just wanted to see... Since the prices are pretty damn good right now. These are so cool. 
I, I'll probably have to come back here and see what other ones I want to... Maybe I'll add a couple more to my collection. There's one that I really liked. I thought I was going to be able to mint. Ooh, look at this guy. Like, the sunglasses are cool. Ooh, that one's neat. Let's check out the highest priced ones and see how those are right now. Oh, look at that skull and bones smoker dude. That suits it. Oh, look at that guy. There's some pretty fun random ones in here. We'll have to come back in here. I don't have much funds for maybe the higher priced ones. This one's cool. I like this chain. It's pretty cool. So tree. I think the rainbow chain is one of the things that's pretty cool on here. That one's pretty fun. Oh look, this one does have a rainbow chain. Those are pretty rare. That's a pretty fun one. But yeah, so if you go back to the let's go back to the low to high. Again, these you can you download the box file. And I need to check out that one thing it was saying how um I can get get your Unchained Trinity to a free Crypto Voxels version. The Unchained Trinity Voxels Minter has bridged to, 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 to continue. Oh, maybe it's too late. Yeah, it might be too late. I can figure out a way to add it. I'll have to look into that later. That's pretty cool. Let's check out the rarity chain scores. I don't think mine are very rare, but let's see. I have 707, right? Whoa, look at that one. Number one. I don't think I've ever gotten anything that was super rare. Ooh, that octopus one is really cool. Let's see with that one. See what this one's going for. Um, hmm. That one is going for... Yeah, that's a pretty high. I don't think it's... Oh, some of them aren't listed. If they're listed, it'll show up on here. I wonder what mine is. I want to find the rarity of mine, but I don't think I'm clicking in the right place. 707, I thought. Hmm. I'll have to come back in here and check out. There's only 2,000, so I guess that's not like... Yeah, but these are all really cool. Look at these top ones. Oh, it's a chili! <laughs> this whole time I was like, what is that about? That one's really cool, including being a longtime resident of New Mexico. I think that's a chili. Looks like a chili. I'm not sure. Anyhow, well, I hope you've enjoyed today's exploration into some cool tools for wearable creation, some cool things happening in interoperability in Decentraland, and I'm definitely going to keep playing and seeing what fun things I can make in here, and of course, bring it all into my favorite blender and see what I can do from there. Well, hope you guys have a great rest of your day and catch you guys next time. Next time I'll be showcasing uh, Far Out Murals build 
uh, with the game integration, which should be a lot of fun. Uh, it's almost ready to be up for all of you guys to play, and I'll definitely be giving you guys the inside scoop on all things um, to do with that build. So I'll catch you guys next time, uh, and I'll go back to live now. <laughs>
Ooh, that's pretty cool. It actually suits my little outfit. My polygonal mine, one of one hat, cat girl skirt, polygonal like mega cute boots and head. Let's go check out the, I guess two of you guys said how cool the rec suit was. Let's go see if that will load up again. Go back to, okay, let's see, where did rec suit go? Those are pretty cool shoes. A deadly plant. Okay, let's check out the rec suit. <laughs> look at him strike a pose. Except look at the how funny it kept my head and oh I'm supposed to be right. I don't know, that looks just funky. Looks like something that shouldn't be happening is happening there. Looks like I like grew out of its neck. That's pretty awesome. Okay, let's go see what's uh I like the Dr. Drip one, the Rex, ooh, skeleton. Let's see what this guy looks like. It's always fun to see what the actual display will showcase. Oh, that's nice and disturbing. It's got my mask. That's a lot of those were minted. It's got some... Let's go back to accessories and... Um top head and see what's going on. VIP, ooh, star aura. I've been uh, working on some cool aura wearable design that's hopefully going to come out here in a week or so. I'll showcase that once ready. That's pretty cool. Look at that one. Uh, the, the, wish, the thing I wish in the display that it showed how much it glowed. Ooh, that one's cool. I like anything glowy. Very cool. Top head. Moon and stars. Cherry blossom. I wonder what hovering head will look like. That's a little disturbing. It reminds me of, what is it? Uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Wasn't it? The floating heads? Oh, cool. Look at that. <laughs> it's just the head. That's pretty cool. I like that. Some people, like, their style is so epic in here. There's some stuff that I wonder- ooh, look at that. Golden... FOMO. Looks kind of like a scary veil, almost. It's cool, though. I love how they changed and how now you're able to actually try things on. Actually, I bought this DJ set. I thought it was really cool. And the girl on the shoulders. Let's see. Well, it will be for me to carry around my friend. I think I could do it for a little bit, but I would get tired after a while. But it's a pretty cool wearable idea. Okay, let's see what else. Butterfly wings. I think that's it for now. Let's see what the clingy cat looks like. I think I'd like to have a parrot hang out with me for a little bit. And in case you missed it, ooh, it's just a little. Oh my god, look at the clingy cat. <laughs> that is so funny. Oh my god, look at that. That's what happens sometimes. The cats don't want you to go anywhere, or don't want you to move them from their perch. Um, let's see what... let's see what masks. I like some of the masks I've been seeing have been pretty cool. Ooh, that's a little above my budget, but... Let's see what the force field looks like.
Okay, that's interesting. Maybe protect me against buying more wearables? <laughs> I need that. Ooh, that's cool. Aztec helmet. I like that one. That's pretty cool. That turned out really cool. Let's go. I like how they did the little... I wonder how you can adjust this. I need to do that for mine. I don't think I've updated mine for a while. Ooh, that could be a misfit. The bandita. Ooh, I like that. That's pretty cool. But four? That's a little bit high for that. Especially... Yeah, I think that should be like one. Or point five. Ooh, let's see. Cowboy. Buff. Buffalo. Uh-oh. I don't know what I just did. I just want to see what that looked like. Bandana and Colts. Let's see. You can kind of see it. Let's see. I think it depends on what you're wearing. It would look different. Let's see. Let's see some tiaras. Um, ooh, look at that. Mega claws. Ooh, scorpion. You guys check that scorpion tail out. <laughs> those are cool. Look at those giant claws. Give me some superpower. It's just the one. Let's see what the scorpion looks like. I don't think anyone would mess with me right now. Check out this outfit. Horns, scorpion tail. That's pretty cool. I'm always looking for new hoodies. The hoodie that I did, I definitely would would make some adjustments to. Learned a lot. Let's check out some of these. Whoa, the cheetah outfit. Not something I would ever wear, but I gotta check it out. <laughs> it looks pretty cool. Yep, this is definitely. Oh, look how it happened to the boots. It's always funny to see how things kind of like don't line up over this. Yeah, Mecha Fist. Those are really cool, right? I know there's so many that I'm adding to my list of like, I don't want to look at it because I don't want to have to buy it. I mean, I do. I love supporting other artists. Ooh, that's cool. Look at this tool hoodie. Very cool. Let's check out... Look at these guys. Fuego RGB power suit. RGB power suit that can be changed by changing hair color. That's cool. That's a lot of hair. <laughs> Nikki Fuego. She's awesome. Very cool that you can change by the changing hair color. That makes sense, because all the new cool hair color adjustments that you can do, which I haven't played with. Let's see. You know, if I go in there, it's all going to crash. The minute I change screens and DCL... Ooh, this looks like a cool puffer. Ooh, I like that. It's kind of like the hoodie I have now. I really like that. This is me if I were in real life. Look at that. That's so cool. Paint it black. So this one is... Uh, it's always cool to see what people buy. I really do like that one. I think I might have to get it. 
<laughs> See, I was just coming on here not wanting to buy. This one looks really cool too. Look at the cyber jacket. But 22, damn. That's pretty cool. I like how it fits. Nice, I like the radioactive symbol. This puffer jacket is still kind of kind of up there for me right now. Let's check out the corrupted suit. Which one would you guys buy? Of all the ones I've showed, which one? And if you're just joining us, I wanted to let me paste the form again. The word of the day is on chain chain. And um, go head over and support. Ooh, let's see what this looks like. I like how it has the floating bits. That's cool. Corrupted suit. Yeah, that puffer is pretty cool. I like the puffer jacket. Ooh, check this guy out. Military jacket. I could do this forever. <laughs> it's funny how it changed my skirt to black though. That's interesting. Maybe it's doing that on purpose. I am not sure. So the Mecha Fist seems to be a winner. Let's see what else is down here. I could have Chuck Bubbles. I could have some Bubbles as my wearable. <gasps> I could have my bird. Let's see what this looks like. Oh cool! Little bird. That's super cool. Anybody else have the bird? <laughs> Let's see. Let's go down and still that puffer jacket. I really like that one. Look at the cool. Ooh, look at this one. Glowbot hoodie. Again, I wish it was that you could actually view these to see how glowy they were. Because you can't really see how glowy they are in here. That's cool. Lots of colors. But I think this puffer jacket has won my heart. Yeah, that's too cool. I'm gonna have to get this guy. That was the winner of the day. <laughs> and then I will stop, I swear. I must stop after this. It just looks really cool. I love how puffy it looks. Okay, let's go see if I can... Uh, go back to... I think I better stop while I'm ahead. <laughs> it's always fun to check because it changes so much and there's so much cool creativity happening in the community of all the things everyone's creating. I wish I could buy one of everything to support all the artists, all the amazing creators that are jumping on in to the fun of wearable creation. Oh my god. There's some funny ones. Oh cool. The, yeah, that would be cool to see if you could do that. With the, it's always good to experiment with different tools. Let's check out this Miss Metaverse dress. And then I think we're gonna... Ooh, that's cool! Look, this is bad for me to buy more stuff, but I love the transparency of that. They did a really cool job. Let's see who did it. Creator. Definite cash. Awesome job. Really cool. UFO dress with beaming with light beaming as gown and galaxy for writing. I think that came out super cool. Let's see Goldilocks all the cool people who've bought it. This is another one that is so cool! Look at that.
Great job. Definite cash. Let's see what else they've done. Lots of cool stuff. Oh, I've seen these cash pans. I like that circuit. I like anything circuit. I need to go and highlight more of these awesome wearable creators and have them. Ooh, oh man. Why did I have to see this? This is tight. This one is really, really cool. Sorry, I gotta do it. <laughs> oh, I can't resist. That is tight. That is super cool. Okay. I can't buy any more. I bought two cool things. Well, I haven't bought anything for a while, so there you go. This is dangerous, you guys. I don't know if I should do this segment anymore. <laughs> they look great in game. Another 15, yep. Every time I visit my friend, I always manage to snag something up, right? But look how cool that is. That looks so beautiful. They did an amazing job. Definite cash. I am a big fan. I'm going to have to have you on the show and talk about all your cool stuff. Look at that. Two of your... I, oh, and the pants. Damn. Those look sick. Okay, sorry. Gotta do it. Gotta do it. <laughs> I haven't bought anything in a long time. So there. Done. No more. I'm gonna turn off and end the stream. But that is cool. If something fits well in real life, which it rarely does. Like this hoodie I got at Burton. It's so comfy cozy. Right? You can't... If it fits... And it, look at that. It fit beautifully on there. It's stuff that I would buy and wear in real life. If I could find that in real life. I'm going to have to end this stream. This is getting very dangerous for me. But I have to say that wearable maker, I would love to have them on the show. If anybody knows them... Let's see, how do we how do we get back to that? I'll have to reach out to that wearable maker, because I would love to have them on. She, he, whoever it is, love your stuff. Right here. Drip. Definite cash. If anyone knows how to get a hold of this awesome wearable creator, let me know. Definite cash. You need a link to your Twitter. Oh, there it is. Okay, I'm gonna have to say hi to them. Oh wait, cancel. Let me save this baby so then I can uh, follow them on Twitter and tell them how much I love their stuff. Oh no, doesn't exist. Oh well, I'll I'll search for them later. Now that I've spent way too much money, I'm going to have to end the stream before I spend all my mana, <laughs> and I don't have much. <laughs> Oh, look at all this awesome other stuff. Okay, that's it. I'm out. I'm out. I'm tapping out. Looks like they just dropped a brand new collection. That's sick. Def drip. Look at this. I think while we were talking, they just dropped this. Look how cool that is. Very cool. Nice. Just to tempt me, yep, exactly. Maybe they're watching the stream going, oh, little does she know. But I'm really happy with these two other ones. I'm stoked. I guess I have to get the shoes, but I think I'll wait for that. Or maybe not. Let's see what the shoes look like. I think I would wear that outfit with the, with the boots. These definitely have some really cool supporters. They look sick. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to call it. <laughs> Tap out. No more buying for me. Hope you guys have enjoyed today's show. Um, <laughs> I've had a lot of fun, and um, yeah, I'm gonna have to level up my wearable creation game. I have a lot of work to do. 
But thank you guys again for being here and joining me. Hope you guys got your wearable. I mean, your po up. I will be sending out um, some cool wearables along with that. Um, I have some from other creators that I can share. I have a bunch of stuff I have to catch up on in regards to giving away wearables. So you guys will be the lucky ones. And on Chain Chain, go support them. Um, their um, proposal is up for voting right now. It's only complete with the jacket. See you, Frack. Thank you. Yes, I know. The shoes, I'm gonna have to wait. But it is a collection. Look at that, totally just dropped it just now. Maybe I just missed it, but they're not even on sale yet, so... Probably... That's... They haven't even set the price? Maybe they're just up for um, review or something. Anyhow. Okay, guys. Until next time. Hope you have a great rest of your day. See you later, and thanks for being here. Bye.